What's going on guys, this is Mia Sin, and uh, when we thought that the Horus engine couldn't get any better, we get proven wrong. So we just got uh, even more support for uh, what seems to be a uh, tier 0 potentially engine. We never know, uh, maybe with this uh, with this new support it might really well be. Anyways, before we get to reviewing any of these new cards, make sure you smash the like and subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the first card is Horus the Black Flame Deity. Yeah, so th this time the Horus monster is like, you know, it's it's literally Horus, right? It's 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 quite literally him. Fire Dragon, I, I okay, alright. I, I believe those are the actual stats of the Horus uh, the Black Flame Dragon level 8. You can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn each. If you control a Horus monster and the sarcophagus, you can reveal this card in your hand and send one card from your hand or field to the grave. Send one card from the field to the grave. Doesn't target, doesn't destroy, I'll take that. But you do have to control two uh, two cards, right? And you also have to discard two cards, well, send to the graveyard, that's even worse in a way. So it's uh, worse under uh, D-Shifter, but that doesn't matter because you can't really summon a Horus monster under uh, D-Shifter. And by the time the Horus cards will come out, you better believe D Shifter and a Rise Art uh, better get banned or something. Maybe not D Shifter, that's not realistic, but a Rise Art at the very least. Anyways, if a face up King Sarcophagus and or Horus monster other than itself you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand and then you can send all other monsters on the field to the grave. It, 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 it's nuts. There is this and Imseti that just always send cards to the grave uh, without targeting. So that's just like such a good removal. It, this is insane, but again, very reactive, and this is one of the few Horus monsters that, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. It, it doesn't summon itself from the graveyard, which is annoying, and yeah, even the second effect, so I don't know, this is honestly not that great. It's it's fine maybe as a one-of, but hopefully this card is better. And this is Stonewall of the Imperial Tombs, Field Spell, so uh, we never know, a terraforming. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. This, card name, this card's name becomes King Sarcophagus while in the field zone. This is already good enough because it means that now you have more ways of being able to revive back all of your Horus monsters. So this is already extremely good, but don't worry because it gets better. During your main phase, you can add one Horus monster from your deck to your hand, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Alright, so how can we benefit off of this? Could uh, You could play the DDD engine in this deck, and then if you draw the Vice Requiem, worst case scenario, you just always put it back. So that's uh, that's kind of nice, and of course when you're searching Emseti, you're going to be doing uh, you know quite a lot actually. You're, you discard it, and then you get the Sarcophagus. And then you draw a card, and then you keep foolishing and stuff like that, so that's that's definitely really nice. But this card is not like a free plus one, right? Because you search and then you place one, uh, it's, it's pretty much like the Charagade Link 2 monsters, the Rinbrum or something. Oh, Bearbrum, what the hell, Rinbrum is another card. And uh, the, the, the Furgit, you're really just going for one for one. But anyways, if you activate the effect of Horus the Black Flame Deity, you can draw one card. So that's if you activate any of the effects of the uh, Horus the Black Flame Deity. And the nice part about that is that, uh, yeah, it's actually not too bad because at least you're always negging with the effect of the Horus monsters, but you're also recurring back a little bit of, of advantage with the uh, third effect, uh, which you can technically tr trigger twice because you're gonna have um, this first effect and then the second effect, so it's twice on your own turn, maybe twice on your opponent's turn, but it's kind of, um, again, a little unrealistic. And I don't know how much I like Horus the Black Flame Deity, Ma maybe there's something that I'm not seeing, but this is not looking any better than Imseti. Imseti is by far the best card so far, and it, it gets everything started for you. But this card is already, for me, good enough because if you're playing this in maybe tier elements, which for me is probably the best way to play the Horus Engine, you can either search the Pearl Arena or the terra uh, with the Terraforming or this. And of course, if you already have Pearl Arena, what you're going to be doing is Pearl, Pearl Arena for, uh, search first and then activate this card and then you mill a lot and then you keep reviving back all of your monsters and it just becomes like overwhelming for your opponent. So it's it's just, again, really insane. And the fact that you can get your stuff going with this field spell makes it even better. And again, if you draw cards like Trivi Karma, not the end of the world could just be your discard for uh, Imseti. So yeah, very uh, nice uh, synergy for sure. This, this field spell is fantastic. This card is the card that I'm a little bit iffy on. But the fact that uh, Konami just is still giving support to the Horus engine definitely means that uh, there is more to come and it's just a matter of time before we get some actual nasty cards for it. And this is excluding the fact that maybe there is a genius that managed to come up with something that I'm not seeing because, again, for me, only the field spell right now is absolutely broken. Well, I mean, not broken, but really, really, really good. Uh, definitely a start, a uh, step into the right direction. And this card is not too bad, but definitely could be a, a little, just a little better.
Uh, although I, I am definitely gonna have to say that at least this is proactive, so you can uh, send cards to the graveyard and then trigger, draw a card. Yeah, it's definitely not too bad. Anyways, that's it for this video. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts about these two cards and also the future of the horse engine in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.